Hi, it's Andrew Gaffney, editor of Retail Touchpoints, and I'm here at the NRF Big Show. I'm actually joined today by Tim Callum with uh, Retail Next, formerly BVI Networks. Yep. Tim, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So you and I were having an interesting conversation. We're seeing a big trend here at the show around analytics, but yeah. particularly one of the things I think we're, we're seeing with uh, cross-channel retailers is they're trying to get some of the same analytics that they get around their, their web visitors and their web traffic um, and bring that to a store level. Um, tell us about the, how, how you're helping retailers yeah, with that. Yeah, absolutely. So if you think about the e-commerce world, people measure everything that goes on to the nth degree, even to the point where they know if red buttons work better than blue buttons. And now when you, we move into the world of retail, we know very, very little about what goes on inside of the stores. Right. And historically that's because the technology hasn't really been adequate to deliver that kind of information in a real way. It's much easier in a web scenario. Right. But the good news is in recent years, we've seen a lot of advances and we're at the point now where you can take your stores and you can harvest huge amounts of data out of them that you can use to make intelligent decisions to make them more effective. Absolutely. And one of the things that I find interesting is, you know, we talk in a lot of ways about the path to purchase and what influences that path to purchase. Some of the things that you were showing me earlier actually do you know, address that in, in a real way. So share with us some of how those technologies start to come together. Right. Well, for instance, one of the big technologies is, the, is cameras. We like to have cameras located in stores because then you can take a lot of information out of video. You can look at the paths that people follow as they move through the store. You can see where they stop, what we call dwell where they stand and, and, and which direction they're facing. You can look at their faces, you can determine their gender, are they male or female? Right. And then all of this stuff can go back and really influence how you see people interacting with the stores. So we can build it all the way to the point where we can make something like, like what we call a heat map, which will show you where the traffic is in the store, yeah, so or what really we cool. call a node map, which shows you how the traffic moves through the store. And then this can really help people move fixtures, move the items to different places, change the furniture, uh, uh, or determine the effects of other changes they made in order to really make the register ring and make more money. Yeah, so all different levels of intelligence. Yeah, absolutely. Tell us a little bit about the rebranding, so Retail Next. You know, so Retail Next. Retail Next um, was known for several years as BVI, BVI Networks. And one of the things we found is that the word of the name of our product, Retail Next, was much more expressive to our customer base. Okay. And we learned that people in the industry and our customers and things were referencing our company as Retail Next. They would say, hey, let's call up Retail Next. And we are customer driven, we are market driven. And, and we took that as a signal that the market wanted to call us a different word. So we decided, okay, we'll bite the bullet. We'll give them what they want, and we've now rebranded the company as Retail Next. Makes sense. Now, let me go back to our, our first point. So, with, with coming off the holiday season, obviously online sales are growing. Uh, brick and mortar sales are a little bit more challenging in most cases, flat, yeah. maybe single digit. You know, as you were pointing out earlier, it really makes it much more important for retailers to have a deeper level of intelligence to take every um, opportunity to, to yeah, influence that in-store It's critically in important, experience. absolutely. So in the environment where everything's growing and it's up to the up into the right and life is good, maybe we can afford not to take every advantage that we have available to us. Right. But especially when you're flat and when times are tight, if people can increase something, even a few percentage points, winds up being a huge amount of money when you roll it across a whole store right. or a whole chain of stores. And so the ROI, we have customers who have measured their ROI, have broken even in a week, two weeks, because the, the upside you get is so much compared to what it takes to put some appliances and some analytics into your store. Yeah, and the way the technology is coming together, obviously, you know, cloud computing is helping this way. So you, you, you can deliver it, obviously, the cameras and the store you talked about, but then the whole other software Oh yeah, again, we wouldn't have been able to do this too long ago. Big data is huge, we're getting much better, uh, technology is getting much better at dealing with massive amounts of data, and we deal with massive amounts of data. We get trillions of data points. We have um, great, better internet access. We have better wireless devices. So one of the things we have now is your mobile device, like your tablet or your smartphone. You can actually access our console and get information right on there, wherever you are, where you're carrying that item. So as all of these technology trends come together, more than just video processing, it makes it much easier to assemble the, that information and give retailers genuine insights that they can act on. That's great. Well, I really appreciate you sharing those uh, insights with us today. Thank you. Good luck with the rest of the Thanks. rebrand.